Congratulations. I am proud to nominate you for academic recognition as a delegate representing Santa Ana High School and the state of California at the Congress of Future Medical Leaders to be held June 24 to June 25, I mean, June 26, 2020 in Boston, Massachusetts. The Congress of Future Medical Leaders is a highly selective national program honoring academic academically superior high school students dedicated to the service of humanity through medicine. You have been selected for recognition because of your outstanding academic record, your leadership potential, and your desire to contribute to the profession of medicine as a physician or medical scientist, as a biologist, engineer, software or hardware technologist. Oh my God, she's... Okay, she's crying. Because it says, after the close of the Congress, you will be presented with the inscribed Congress of Future Medical Leaders Award of Excellence. We will help you prepare a news release for your local TV stations, girls, and newspapers. We will happily provide with copies of your award certificate and letters confirming your nomination and attendance for you to share with the colleges and universities of your choice. Your attendance at the Congress will enrich your academic profile when you are applying to competitive colleges and universities. It may also be an important part of your showcase and extra extracurricular experience and achievements as you write application essays and prepare for college interviews. <laughs> Where do you wanna go with your life? Uh, with that, also in the next week, you're going to receive an email from us at Torch and Laurel. And like Richard said, you guys are automatically a part of the Society of Torch and Laurel. So again, congratulations, first of all, for being a part of this amazing Congress. And then secondly, congratulations on being uh, very soon our newest members of the Society of Torch and Laurel. I do solemnly I pledge. Do solemnly pledge. To do my best. To do my best. To continue my scholastic excellence. To continue my scholastic And to be a leader committed to serving others. And to be a leader committed to serving others. Furthermore. Furthermore. I affirm my pledge. I affirm my pledge. To promote and preserve. To promote and preserve. The three pillars of the society. The three pillars of society. Integrity. Integrity. Leadership. Leadership. And service. And service. Congratulations to all of you on being the newest members of the Society of Torch and Laurel. And thank you so much again, Richard and your entire team for having us be a part of this and for all of the ways that you're impacting the lives of so many incredible minds and superheroes all across the country. Thank you so much. You guys don't understand. People like me don't get this, Great job, these Steve. types of that opportunities was, um, and privileges. Very moving. And Other I must do. tell you, I don't. Uh, very much deserved <laughs> by these to. young people. But Although I myself am always I very grateful to, to you because I'm a human being too. Uh, for having created this amazing Some people can argue against that. And but also right, that's why I'm so happy because I was able to, allow to have that opportunity. These magnificent delegates. And I'm so happy. <laughs> simply enter. DeLuca, run this down to the lab. Tell them the chief says move this to the front of the line. Run! Hello, Giacomo Gignotti here, or Dr. DeLuca, as you might know me from Grey's Anatomy. I hear you guys are big fans of mine and big fans of the show, so I want to thank you so much. Uh, but more importantly, guys, I want to congratulate all of you on graduating. Um, I'm, I'm tremendously proud of all of you, uh, not just tremendously proud of graduating high school, but that you've all chosen to go on one of the most noble professions um, possible, which is the medical. Incredibly sad as that is may also be of interest to your parents. So if they happen to be in the area, I encourage you to give them a yell and have them come join. Because there is- I ask you to join me in an ageless oath about your commitment to that journey. Now, what's an oath? An oath is a promise. And for us, it is a promise between a physician and a patient. It's a promise from your heart, based on your values, 
to always what are you doing? you're coming out too to commit your your skills and your dedication to the care of that patient so it's a solemn moment if you'd like to turn down the light turn on the light on your flashlight on your cell phone and join me in this oath okay. I ask you to raise your right hand to use your own and to join I, Stephen Ray Mitchell I, Destiny Sonny Sonny Pledge, Sonny Pledge to consecrate, to consecrate my, life my life to the service, to service of, humanity. of humanity. I will give my teachers, I will give their, my respect teachers their respect and gratitude to which they, to which they are due. I will practice, I will my, practice profession my profession with conscience, with and, conscience dignity. and dignity. The health of my patients, the health will, of my be patients my will be my number one priority. priority. I will respect the secrets I that are confided in me. That are confided in me. And even after my patient has died, I will maintain by all I will means, means my, honor my power, and my power, the honor, and the honor, and noble traditions, and noble traditions of the medical profession. I will maintain, I will the, maintain ultimate the ultimate, utmost respect, utmost respect for, human. for human life. I will not. I will not use my medical, my medical knowledge to violate, to violate human rights and so civil liberties, even under threat. I make these promises. I make these promises solemnly, freely, and upon and my honor. Congratulations, oh. delegates <laughs> of the National Academy, future physicians, and scientists. Congratulations, you're on this journey. Remember that pledge, remember that promise, remember that oath. And God speak. And you are. You are on More that. Oh, I know her. <laughs> we became friends. <laughs> More than anything, my wish. My wish for you is that you will continue to go out and make your mark on this world. This world needs your brilliance, your kindness, your compassion, your grit, and your integrity. Go out and make your mark on this world. We need you. My wish to you is to continue to be leaders, be innovative, and let nothing get in the way of your dreams and aspirations. My wish for you is to always look for the wonder in this world, in this life, to remain curious about whatever it is you want to find out and to always keep moving forward. My wish for you is when you feel like stopping, think about what you started. Do your best. You will be someone's hope. My wish for you is courage, determination, and strength to become the person that you are meant to be. My wish for you is that you know that you are enough, you are worth it, and you are very loved. My wish for you is that you reach the highest level of success in the search of your greatest aspiration. Remember that you have the power to change the world in your hands. You just have to learn to use it. Good luck. I hope you never look back, but you never forget all the ones who loved you in the place you left. I hope you always forget. My wish for you is go find your true happiness. Be unstoppable and get after your dreams. And keep that energy going, baby. My wish to you is to always learn and change the world one patient at a time. But be sure you do it with a really good team. <laughs> I wish is that you achieve far more than you expect to. My wish is that you become the hope of our present and our heroes of the future. My wish to you is to never give up on yourself and never give up on your dreams. Our wish for you is that you'll embrace every opportunity that's ahead of you because nothing is going to be impossible for you. My wish for you is to follow your dreams. 
as future doctors stay on the course, be an innovator and an out-of-the-box thinker. You will conquer the world. My wish for you is that you overcome any obstacles that may get in the way of your success and that you feel the love and support of your friends and family. Hi guys! It was nice to meet you. Congratulations! Hey yo! I love you guys! It was so nice meeting you! Bye guys! You guys are awesome! Y'all were amazing. I love all of you. Y'all were nice bad. Y'all were so great. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs> You're dropping yourself from me. I believe I'm officially a Congress of Future Medical Leaders and Physicians alumni. I did it, guys. Um, I'm super happy. I'm so thankful and I feel so inspired. Um, and there is some people who I want to thank. I apologize if I do not read your names correctly. <laughs> I want to thank Monica Ceja, Mariela Garcia, Justine Gutierrez, an anonymous donor, Mike Davis, Cecilia Magieres, Val and Sarari Ibarra, Mesa, Michael Martinez, Alfonso Alvarez, Becca Salazar, and Monica Bier. And I want to especially thank my parents um, and my family and my teachers and my school and everyone who just supported me. Those names that I just wrote out, those people helped me get there financially. They really, like I'm so thankful for them because this was a Congress. This was something that my family could not afford whatsoever. I got the letter and we're like, this is awesome, you know, but it kind of just stayed at that. And I made so many connections. I was so inspired. I, I mean, now I have something on my resume and my applications that not a lot of other students have. And I could not have that if it weren't for those people. And it weren't for those people at my school who supported me, even though they knew I probably wasn't going to go. But my parents, I want to thank my parents a lot. Um, and I'm really happy. I mean, I made some friends. I'm actually currently contacting some people right now, some, some of the students from the Congress. And I'm just so thankful. So I really, really want to just give a big shout out to those people because I appreciate you guys so, so much. Like, I don't think you guys understand how big of a difference this congress has been for me and that was possible in my life because of you guys. I really want to thank Richard Rossi for creating this program. Um, I, I just honestly I don't know. I don't know what this program can do for me but what I do know is that <laughs> my pets are playing. I do know that a lot of great things are going to come from it and give a big shout out to Richard Rossi because he is the one who made this all possible. Uh, so thank you so much. I'm, it was an honor being in this program. And I also, they also shared my story. Uh, I was the last one who shared my story why I wanted to become a doctor. And everyone in the whole Congress got to see it. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Like I was kind of freaking out. Um, but it was really cool seeing me on that screen that other people like other really cool important inspirational people were on so i don't know uh i'm really i'm really happy i'm so thankful and i'm really excited to see what's gonna happen next uh so yeah um if you like this video please give it a like please share uh let me know down in the comments if you're from the congress and what you liked and what inspired you and what do you want to do in the future um and yeah please make sure to subscribe and thank you thank you so much <laughs> i don't have so many words to show and express my appreciation 
but I just want to let you guys know that I won't let you down and that I'm ready. <laughs> I'm scared a little bit, <laughs> but I know that I can do it because people have done it. So, you know, why not me, you know? I'm going to be 30 anyways. Why not be a doctor at 30? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, one big thing that I took away from this was that this too shall pass. This too shall pass. I think uh, for those going into the medical field, we're going to go through quite a lot. And it's going to be a marathon. And there's going to be so many obstacles and so many um things that we will have to overcome so many trials and tribulations so really i should remember that this too shall pass and yeah bye guys